Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a guide to the donuts production mod or the donut factory by Yoss Modding. Um, so we're gonna take a look at how this thing works. I'm um, just giving you guys kind of an introduction to it and what it takes and everything like that. And we're gonna take a look if it is actually worth doing. So are you actually gonna make profit if you make donuts with your materials? So again, we're gonna talk about those various things as we go through this video. If you don't know how production chains work at all, this is probably not a good video to start you on. I will cover a lot of the basic details really quickly as we go through though. So anyhow, the donut production mod, how do we get this baby built? We go into our build mode, go into production factories. At the very end here, we have the donut production by Yoss. So here you go, it's $50,000 to buy, put it wherever you need to. Um, it's the same shape as essentially the uh, the bakery. So you can see this one says bakery on it, West Hills Bread, this has West Hills Donuts on it. So again, it basically is a reskin of that, but it has a cool new production with new products, which is why we're taking a look at it. Um, so once you get it placed right here, this is how you can access the production menu, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit more detail. Around the back side here, this is where your pallets of donuts are gonna spawn. And this is where we're gonna put your inputs in. So in general, Factories work where you have inputs that go in and then your outputs will come out here in the form of a pallet. So that's in general how these things are going to work. Now, if we actually take a look at the production menu here and take a look at some of these recipes, um, we have glazed donuts, strawberry donuts, and chocolate donuts we can make here. So uh, if we go up to the donuts here, the glazed donuts, um, the recipe is two liters of flour, two liters of sugar, two liters of milk, two liters of eggs, and two liters of butter to get five liters of glazed donuts. Now the strawberry donuts are the same recipe, but now you're adding two liters of strawberries and the chocolate donuts are also the same recipe, just adding two liters of chocolate. So very cool in terms of that. Um, now, one thing I wanna note here, this is one cycle is what this recipe is considered. So this happens and then you're gonna get this out and this up here says cycles per month. So this recipe is gonna happen 1,080 times per month, as long as it has all the materials required. So if you have your, um, your game set to one day per month, this is gonna happen 1,080 times per day. If you have it set to like four days per month, this is gonna happen every four days, 1,080 times every four days. So something to be aware of there. Um, every month it's gonna bill you $60 to run these productions, you can see here. And the status is currently inactive. Down here at the bottom, I can activate it to have it running, but then it's gonna go into, um, well, it should in a second here. Yeah, there it goes. Material's missing since we don't have anything in there. Um, and we can also deactivate it down below as well. So make sure you turn it on to get it to actually work. Over here, we have listed out all of our incoming materials and how much we have inside of our factory. And we have our outgoing materials down here, which are listed. They're currently set to storing, but if I click on one of these and go down to change output mode, um, I can change that. Storing is gonna spawn pallets out back of the factory, kind of as I showed you. If I change it to selling, it's gonna automatically sell the donuts, though you're gonna take a 30 to 40% uh, hit in terms of your profit, which these guys should be profit enough that that should still be fine for you. Um, you just don't have to worry about transporting them. Then if you change it to distributing, these will move to another factory if another factory requires glazed donuts or strawberry donuts or chocolate donuts for their production. it will move them to that factory. Um, as far as I know, there's not any other factories that are going to require these for production. So you can do that if you just want to hold on to them inside here. They'll just keep storing up in here. And then you can change it to storing whenever you want pallets to start spawning. So um, if you're on console, that's actually not a bad thing to do is keep it there just so um, you don't hit your pallet limit anywhere. Um, but there you go. So that's how that's going to work. Um, we're going to take a look at these guys actually in terms of what they're going to look at like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm using a mod called buy production inputs. It's for PC only, which allows me to buy um, the factory inputs as I need to. Um, I'm going to get us uh, plenty of, um, well, this is going to be more than enough probably. I'm just going to max these guys out. Um, I'm going to activate all of these guys here. Just because I want to get um, a couple of pallets. At, well, actually, I just want one pallet of each, to be honest. And that should be plenty. Now, if we go around the back side here where the pallets are going to spawn, just so you guys can take a look at these pallets because they look pretty cool. I like them. If we fast forward just a little bit of time. It shouldn't take too long for um, some donuts to start popping out here. I believe they're 1,000 liter pallets, but we'll confirm that in a second. There we go. And then we should get... Oh, it may not want to spawn chocolate donuts for some reason. It's still... Oh, I didn't activate it. There we go. Well, that would explain that. So we'll go ahead and deactivate that. And we'll fast forward some more time here to get us to... Well, pretty much there we go. We got... Another pallet of donuts there, and I'm actually going to go in there. I'm going to deactivate that so we just have these one. And I'm going to fast forward some time just so it's a little bit easier for us to see what we got going on here. Just get us up to about noon. There we go. All right, perfect. And I'm going to turn my flashlight off. So you can see we have our chocolate donuts, which there are um, a thousand liters in there. And you can lift these, by the way. I don't have super strength on or anything like this. They only weigh 160 kilograms. We have a thousand liters of glazed donuts and a thousand liters of strawberry donuts. Now, where do you sell them off? You can go anywhere if you go into here and scroll down anywhere that there's a sell point listed. There's not one on no man's land, which is where I'm at um, to, to sell these at. But if you get like any of the uh, sell anything mods that are out there on the mod hub, 
um, that'll take all those productions that will take these and you can sell them off. But the real question is, should you even be worried about doing donuts? Is it worth, um, and not in your vehicle, I should say, should you even be worried about making donuts? Is it worth it? Um, so I'm going to pull a chart up on your screen right now. You're seeing it. Uh, it says Donut Factory by Yas at the top. Um, it notes that I'm using the Steam price sheet for pricing, which is linked down below in the description, which basically just pulls like decent prices off of the XML for what the game kind of expects the, the, the values of things to be. Then we are running on economic difficulty normal. So I don't have numbers for hard or um, easy. Um, they're basically just going to be proportionate to those as well, though. So if you're on hard, you're just going to make less money um, instead of normal where you're going to make the normal amount of money and easy, you're going to make more money. So just be aware of that. Now, if we go down to the products on the left-hand side of that chart, it says glazed donut, starboard donut, and chocolate donut. Then we have input, output, and profit per cycle. The input cost that you see there is $14.76 for glazed donuts. That is be That price, where we're getting these prices for these inputs is we are looking at all the things you're putting in. So we're looking at the fact that you're putting in flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter, sometimes strawberries, and sometimes chocolate. And we're seeing if it's worth it to put them into this factory. So that input cost is how much you would get if you sold the ingredients for one cycle um, to a somewhere that's gonna have a decent price. Then the prices we're using are list down below. You can see the flour all the way down to the chocolate price there. And then you can see the prices I'm using for the glazed strawberry and chocolate donuts. Um, then the output is how much you're gonna get for selling those five liters of donuts. So for selling five liters of glazed donuts, you're gonna get $39 as opposed to your input at $14. So you're gonna make a profit of $24.44. And then if we move down to strawberry donuts, you're making $25.72, a little bit more. And then chocolate donuts, since chocolate is so expensive, um, you end up having to, um, you don't make as much, you still make a lot of money to be honest, $21.60, but you do have to lose a little bit there since you're, um, the chocolate is worth a lot of money. And that was the product that you kind of added in on that one that uh, kind of lowered that average a little bit there. But regardless of that, you're still making a ton of money on all of these. Um, so they're all definitely worth doing. All of these you're making pretty close to, if not over double what you put in, um, So which is awesome. Now, the other thing I want to note is the glazed donut, strawberry donut, chocolate donut prices are pulled from the best price um, over a 12-month per period in the game. So just be aware of that. That's That price could change a little bit and everything like that. So that's the best price if you sell them at the best time, which is what you're probably going to do anyways. So profit per month at the very bottom, if you do glazed donuts, and that's always running at 1,080 cycles per month, you're going to make approximately $26,000 per month. Strawberry donuts, $27,000, and chocolate donuts, $23,000. So there you go. Um, on that note, that should be everything you need to know about how to use the Donut Factory by Yoss. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bells so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.